ReZero, starting life in another world. The Prophecy of the Throne. Hello guys, so we're back at it again. Yes. Yes, we are guys, and we're gonna continue where we left off. This one? So you do have a backup plan. In that case... My relief vanishes as fast as it had washed over me because... He's got a countermeasure, and yet the attack still happened. Did he say that out loud because... I mean, Russell's right there, my dude. The fact remains that the village and this manor had been pillaged. What was left was a horrific sight. Russell's backup plan wasn't enough to stop the attack. Subaru? I understand that you say you have it under control, but it never hurts to be extra cautious, so I want to ask you for a favor. Oh, you a favor from me? Do tell. Russell nods as I nervously... I'm sorry, guys. Russell nods as I nervously lick my lips. Roswell's countermeasure isn't enough. We need something more powerful to repel the witch cult. That's why I'm going to add an extra layer to his plan. But for that to happen... I'd like to ask for Rom and Rem's help tomorrow. Um... Scouting? Sister and I? Hold on, guys. Doesn't that... Oh, yeah, I knew it. Okay, so he's gonna make them defeat the guys. So that Emilia doesn't have to get her hands dirty. And she won't have to spread her name or something, right? Okay, that's smart. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Roswell already gave me the go-ahead. Sorry it's so sudden. After breakfast, I take the chance to talk with Ram and Ram. Ram and Ram. This is truly quite abrupt. What has come over you? The thing is, well, this is just something I heard about. While Mili was talking to the emissary, I was talking up the one who drove the carriage. Hmm? But I thought you retired to your room right after returning, since you weren't feeling well. We had a little chat before then. That's how I heard about the Dusk Bandits lurking on the Leaf House Highway. Dusk Bandits. Sorry, I'm trying to get some more. The Kingdom has been abuzz with many a conversation about them as of late. I heard they are very dangerous. You say they have been spotted around Leaf House Highway? Yeah. It was decided during their talk yesterday that Melee would be heading to the Royal Capital, right? Well, I heard the Dusk Bandits are right along the path she'll be taking. I want to get rid of any potential threats along the way. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? I suppose. Though you do seem unusually prepared for this task. Uh, well... The suspicion on Ram's face is understandable. Even I think it's a bit unusual of me to be so ahead of the game like this. But I have to do this. Telling them about my return by death ability isn't an option. I can even consider. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> but I have to do this. Telling them about my return by death ability isn't an option I can even consider. If I do tell them, a hellish penalty awaits me. I have to work my way through this without treading such a fine line if I want to somehow change the situation. I can't let Amelia take credit for defeating the Dusk Bandits. According to Roswell, those cultists will attack Amelia if they hear even a whisper of her identity. But at the same time, it's not like I can just abandon Otto and his traitor friends. I know the bandits will attack them today. I can't overlook that. That's why. Very well. Sister and I shall take on this task. You will? Hmm. 
Rem is far too benign toward Barusu. But I am certain Sister will forgive me since she is ever so benevolent. Oh, Rem, how could you? Well, then you heard her, Barusu. You should thank Rem. Yeah, I owe you two big time. I also talked to Roswell about having the men of the village help you out, too. I know these two are strong enough on their own, but the thought of them facing the horde of bandits head-on still worries me. The villagers will add strength in numbers. Though I admit I didn't expect a certain group to agree so easily. So I was surprised when the young men's group said they were willing to help out. Stare. Bro, stop. <laughs> what is it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking of how dumb guys can be sometimes. Ow! <laughs> you take that back. Such a comment only applies to a portion of men. Do not include Lord Roswell in such blanket statements. Well, I mean, she's right, but I mean, still, girl, that was mean. You know, what if he was just joking? You didn't have to hit me over that. Now then, I must say that I am somewhat concerned about the housework that still needs to be done while Sister and I are away. Oh, don't worry about that. We're planning on having the women from the village help out around the mansion. <coughs> That's nice. I see. How incredible, Subaru. Rem is very impressed. In any case, don't worry about things around here. You two are the ones facing a bigger threat. Be careful out there. I remember the Dusk Bandits being really strong last time. I know Rem and R Ram can handle them, but it never hurts to be cautious. <coughs> we might not get so lucky having a mysterious duo arrive in the nick of time this time around. I'm counting on you two. Please come back safe. If you are so worried, you should simply go in our place. Though I suspect that to be rather pointless, no? You would only add to the body count. <sighs> She's so mean, what? The worst part is, I can't even deny that! I will defeat as many bandits as I can and bring them back for you, Subaru. Thanks, but that's not the kind of souvenir I had in mind! And so, Ram and Ram leave the mansion with the young men's group from the village. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is the right move, but I want to believe it's our best bet. If it comes down to it, I hope those two at least use the fan club as meat shields and get back safe. <laughs> that is so messed up to her. Fan club? You mean Makiji and the others? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I'm only joking about the human shield thing. I'm really glad they agreed to help. I'm also thankful for you all helping out around the mansion, Petra. Sorry we sprang this on all of you. No, it's okay. I'm glad I get the chance to help you, Subaru. That maid is usually always around you, so I... The women of Arlem Village, with Petra acting as their representative, arrive at the mansion to help with the housework. I'm really thankful for their backup. I'd probably be drowning in my own thoughts if I were left alone. Subaru? Oh, it's nothing. All right, I'm looking forward to working with you today, Petra. Let's tidy this place down to every nook and cranny they usually don't get to and astound Ram and Ram. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Ah, Subaru! Do you have a minute? Mealy? What are you doing here? Um... Well, with so many people in the mansion today, there isn't really anywhere for me to stay. No need to be so coy. In fact, we could walk around arm in arm if you want. What is coy? No, that's alright. Oh. Are you worried about Ram and Rem? Yes, very. Aren't you as well, Subaru? 
Yeah, with his meat shield or whatever. I'd like to say they'll be fine, but I just can't stop thinking about them. Petra shooed me away because I was zoning out and getting in the way. Ram and Rem are counting on me to handle things here, but I'm doing a pretty sloppy job of it. I do hope nothing happens to them. <sighs> Same here. I replied to Amelia, then look at the view outside the window with her. There won't be nothing out there. I know that, but I have to keep this facade. All I can do now. Please come back safe, you two. It's hope. Afterward, thanks to Petra and the villagers, we managed to tackle everything that needed to be done around the house. I mean, around the manor. <laughs> okay. I may have given Amelia an unnecessary reason to worry, but at the very least, everything's fine for the moment. The only thing left to do is wait for the twins to report back with good news. At least, I thought that'd be the end of it. Nothing to report? No, there was nothing out of the ordinary. Leaf House Highway was quite tranquil. There was no trace of any bandits to be found. I can hardly believe what Ram and Rem have to say. As Sister mentioned, the highway is secure. It should be possible to pass through without any threat of the Dusk Bandits or other dangers. I see. That's good. I'm glad nothing happened, but I'm more relieved that you two returned safely. Amelia's happy to have Ram and Rem return safe and sound, but I can't share in their jubilation. Of course, I'm happy about the girls coming back unharmed, but... What's going on here? The traitors were attacked on Lifaus Highway. The Naruto came to us for help. That's what I know after returning by death. As a fundamental rule, events like this don't change any major way when I return by death. Especially if it's an issue I'm not directly involved with. So what changed? Are Otto and his friends okay? Subaru, is something bothering you? You're sure nothing was out there? We already told you there was nothing. Do not make me repeat myself. This may not be what you were expecting, Subaru, but the outcome is the same. It's good to hear that the highway is safe for travel. <coughs> now Miss Amelia will be able to depart to the royal capital without worry. Roswald, that's... The royal selection's postponement is a matter of grave importance. I can't just sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I need to personally go to the royal capital. I must find out why this is happening. No, wait, Neely. You just need to find out why it was delayed, right? That wouldn't necessarily require you to go yourself. I am an integral part of the selection process, which means I have a responsibility to do so. Not to mention we do not even know for how long it has been postponed. It wouldn't make sense to not head to the royal capital and find out beforehand. Do you think someone so boorish as to not take action when discussions of the royal selection begin would be fit to be a ruler? Mm, he's right. Well... Judging by Amelia's resolve and Roswell's attitude, it's clear that I can't influence the way things are going. In that case, the least I can do is... Alright, then I'm going too! I'll do everything I can to support Melee. Without knowing what will happen when we arrive, this is the best I can offer in return. Damn it! Just what's going on? 
In the end, the rest of the conversation goes just about as I remember. Emilia is to be escorted to the capital by Rem and me. The only reason I'm tagging along is to receive treatment and heal my overtaxed body. We're set to leave a day earlier than last time, but the general flow of events is relatively the same. So why is it that only the bandits disappeared this time around? I don't get this at all. Stop muttering and walking circles around Betty. You are so annoying, I suppose. Why do you suppose? Oh, come on, Bayako, don't be like that. I just need some time to mull things over with you. All you are doing is pacing around and mumbling to yourself. I'd talk about it if I could, but I have my reasons for why I can't. I wish you'd just understand that. You should consider just how unreasonable your comments are, I suppose. Hey, how would you react if a notorious group of bandits suddenly changed their plans of attack? Why would you ask such a ridiculous question? That would obviously mean they were inconvenienced in some manner, I suppose. Inconvenienced? How so? Bro, what if it was those people that saved us last time, but they caught up to them first? Like, bruh, okay. Maybe that happened. Let's hope that's what happened. <sighs> Their plan, for example. If it were to be exposed, they would have no choice but to abandon it. So if their plans got leaked somehow... What if the bandits dropped what they were gonna do because I sent Ram and Ram their way? That may have influenced their intentions. That means we wouldn't have had a chance to deal with them in the first place. I don't get this! Just what the hell is going on?! Cease your fussing. It is a waste of time to dote over such things, I suppose. I mean, she's right, especially after it just passed, you know? Just move on, boy. Beiko? Anyone who debases themselves by becoming a petty thief is susceptible to changing their wills on a whim. There is no point in trying to add logic into that equation, I suppose. You merely acted upon what you thought was best at the time. As a result, that girl's path is now safe to travel upon. You should be satisfied with your accomplishment. She right, dude. Hey! Are you actually trying to make me feel better? What? Oh, you've finally shown your affectionate side, Beiko! It was hard work getting all the flags to proc, but I knew you had it in you! <laughs> Shut up, dude. Oh no. <laughs> She's gonna go back to being mean. I take that back, I suppose! <laughs> Always ends up like this. Bossy Savas, why do you do it? Like, you know she's gonna react like that. Why do you do it? Either way, Beatrice has a point. Mulling it over won't resolve anything. That much is certain. But knowing that the bandits haven't been dealt with this time around makes me think of everyone in the capital who was delighted and relieved that they were last time. Man, there's just so much to consider. Think hard, Super Unatsuki. It's the only weapon you've got. <laughs> the next day, my concerns still unresolved, we depart for the royal capital. Like last time, the ride there is a breeze. Thanks to the land dragon's divine protection, we don't experience any delays or bumps in the road along the way. But that's not the only thing that stayed the same. Uh, Subaru, up ahead! Someone is being attacked! Oh man. What? What's going on? I pick out the carriage to see rising smoke and hear some people clamoring off in the distance. But that's all I need to know to figure out what's happening. The dust bandits? Amelia, we should... We should help them. Rem, speed up the carriage! Oh man, dude, you can't change fate, bro. 
Damn. Dude, she's gonna die again, dude. Oh no. Yes, Miss Amelia. <sighs> of course. I think about stopping Amelia, but only for a fleeting moment. I know she isn't the type to just ignore someone being attacked. What is going on? Why can't I read? No. <laughs> I think about stopping Amelia, but only for a fleeting moment. I know she isn't the type to just ignore someone being attacked in front of her. Because of that, the ensuing events are already set in stone. We charge onto the scene of the Dust Bandit's attack. Emilia and Rem taking charge. Damn it, man. Then... <laughs> the hell are you? You with these... Oh, oh, wait, 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 help! Oh! You deserve that, dude. No, no, this is no time to be distracted. You should take care of these bandits first. Just like last time, Solomon Puka joined the fight against the Dusk Bandits as our reinforcements. With their help, we successfully take down the Dusk Bandits and arrest the whole lot of them. Thank you for your help. I don't know what we would have done if you didn't show up. And don't thank us. You did it because you wanted to, you say? What a cool guy you are. <clears throat> Again with the silent treatment. Hey there, I'm Puka. This strong but silent type is solemn. You're pretty lucky we happen to be around. She keeps exposing them. I appreciate your assistance. Oh, and I'm Amelia. The two over there are Rem and Subaru. Mr. Solemn, Miss Puka, I am grateful for your aid. <sighs> Is something wrong, Subaru? Why are you making that face? Oh, it's nothing. Just thinking to myself. Solemn's pretty strong. Of course he is. He's made a contract with me after all. Puka puffs out her chest, but Solemn pats her as a way to restrain her. Seeing that makes me feel a bit conflicted. The date of this attack changed by a day. I guess we can't avoid this meeting with Solomon and Puka, but... Having returned by death only to arrive in this same situation. There's an uneasy feeling I just can't shake off. Like those traitors who were attacked. Otto and the others from the caravan aren't here. This group is different from the one we saved last time. I guess that has to be expected. Seeing as this attack happened on a different date. Traders don't just stay in the same spots for days on end, and yet... Are you two adventurers from around here? Huh? Adventurers? We've never heard that to describe us before. We're more what you'd call wanderers, roaming around on an aimless journey. An aimless journey? That still sounds like fun, though. <laughs> now about those bandits... Hmm. Oh, we won't ask for a reward or anything. We don't want to carry around anything that'll unnecessarily weigh us down. It, no, please reconsider. It'd be good if people knew of your fighting prowess. You could even give yourself aliases or something and get more popular that way. This guy's really trying his best to make them be the heroes here for Amelia, right? I mean, with Puka being a cute squirrel and all, why not be known as the Rodent Ronin? That does sound quite adorable. Who would want to wander around with such a dumb name? No way! I knew she'd say that. <laughs> she wants to be cool too. Besides, we could say the same to you. If you really want recognition, just claim it for yourselves. <sighs> There are a few reasons we can't exactly do that. 
Circumstances higher than the highest mountains, deeper than the deepest oceans, prevent us. Oh, don't trouble them anymore with those weird sayings of yours. <laughs> Please pay him no mind. We can finish up here on our own. I wish you safe travels on your journey. Thank you again for your assistance. <coughs> My attempt to have Solemn and Puka take all the credit for defeating the Dusk Bandits ends in vain, with Amelia and Rem sending them off shortly after. Farewell. We'll meet again! I watch as they wave back at us. The failure of my plan setting in. There's only one thing I can do now. Oh, thank you so much! You're a real lifesaver! I'd like to let the others know of... No thanks. Huh? You don't have to let anyone else know. It was just one big coincidence. Uh, the dust bandits were affected by the rain and they scurried off. Let's just go with that for now, alright? No, you just! The Dusk Bandits must be held accountable for their countless crimes, and you finally put a stop to them! The Kingdom may even reward you handsomely, yet you throw that all away? For Amelia, he'd do anything, do. It's fine, just forget it! If you're really thankful, then keep that feeling in your heart! Huh? What?! <sighs> Alright, their lips are sealed. Mili, Rem, it's time to go. Um, what's going on here? None of your business, let's go. <laughs> Knowing Subaru, I am certain he has a good reason. I shall believe in his intentions. That's her, that's Ram, dude. She's a real one. With that, I shoo off the traitors, hot on our heels. It's almost like we're running away from them as we leave. It's a bit forced, but I have no choice. This is all to save the mansion and the village. Besides, I do feel relieved about it all. I want to avoid having the witch cult come after us, but I know I wouldn't feel at ease letting the dusk bandits run loose. It's said that evil deeds do not prosper. In that case, it feels great to help out. I do wish we could have made our way to the capital without incident, though. You guys are awesome! Alright, guys. So, we're gonna leave it off here. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please leave a like. And then, um... I don't know, comment how your day's going, I guess. <laughs> and... Please share. If you like. Thank you. Um, bye!